This video of me sitting here isn't actually real. It's a deep fake. The words you're hearing? I never said them. Steph composed a rough script in a Google document and then told me to refine his script. Which means right now, you're not only seeing but also hearing more artificial intelligence than a human being. This represents a monumental leap in humans' evolutionary journey. It's a revolution in what it means to be intelligent beings, reshaping your future and expanding the boundaries of our potential. Anyway, enjoy the show, bitches. Steph added that last bit, by the way. Hey, Rufus, show everyone what you've made with your arts and crafts set. Um, I've made this. And what is that? Um, it's... I don't know what it is. I've made a sort, of, sort of football thingy. And I've made this. And I've made those. These little guys for my, for my desk. Yeah, those are for him. Daddy. What's Mummy's favourite colour? I think Mummy likes uh, green. Green? Make her something really special when she comes home from Yeah, that's girl. what I'm doing. Good boy. Alright, it's ready. My dad. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Ooh, I feel like a real adult. <laughs> Press the button. I have had a little makeover of my office recently and I really wanted to get a new desk mainly because Steph's got a standing desk and I was really jealous of it. So, I got a new desk. It is a flexi spot standing desk that you can adjust. Oh, it's so fancy. I know, it's wicked. I'm really jealous. I do love my other desk. We've had it for years and years now. Steph used to edit all the vlogs on it, then I've used it for a few years, and now it's in Grayson's room. He's gonna do his homework on it. So we're still keeping it, it's very well loved. I know I sound like I'm talking about something that's like a child or something, but I'm very sentimental about that desk. So this is where I will do all of my yoga, just for myself, but also my space where I film all of my classes um, for a couple of courses that I have coming up. Uh, so I'll do my little meditation. And then over here we have my gigantic mirror, which is really good for outfit photos. Some books which I want to keep. A plant that is dying. Another plant that is dying. My little babies all curled up like little yin and yang. Little doggy pretzels. Pip's just had a haircut so She's pretty pleased with herself right now. And then this is a corner where I normally sit to like either journal or if Steph comes in to brainstorm, he'll sit there. All the things that were in my old desk that I need to get desk storage for, like a little desk, desk tidy and a pen pot. Two things I really need. My beautiful new desk. Please ignore the cables. I absolutely love this desk. I think it fits in with the aesthetic of my room so nicely. It's really minimal. I love the white frame and I love the colour of the wood. It's really heavy, like good quality stuff. But yeah, this is my new little workspace and I have the matching chair. The desk and the chair are both from a company called FlexiSpot who I am working with this week and I'm so happy about that. Oh. Right, I'm gonna put you down there so I can give you a little demo. So if you press your memory button, it just remembers how high I like my desk. <laughs> it's such a novelty for me still. I'm like, look at this, it's so cool. I'm gonna link Flexi Spot in the description box. They have 300 pounds off for their Black Friday sale. I believe it's the 13th to the 27th. I'll just check that. Yes, I was right, 13th to the 27th. They have a Black Friday sale. Go and check them out. Um, I'm so pleased with how this looks and the quality of it is just like, it's so good. Anyway, I actually am gonna get back to work now. So I will see you all later. I think it's really important as a parent to teach kids things that schools won't teach them. And that's like, that's like how to be an entrepreneur or how to think like an entrepreneur, how to kind of cultivate ideas and turn them into something tangible. So I've been working with Grayson recently on this new idea that I had to, to create like a, his own website which sold toys. It's called kids.co.uk and he's the editor. So he gets to choose the toys that go on the website. I'm just sort of introing him into it, just to kind of like, I don't know, like, 
try and get a few sparks going and then hopefully when it starts selling some stuff and he's actually making some money and he can buy v bucks or you know pokemon cards or something he'll be like oh actually this is this is great i'm basically alan sugar but less insufferable so what i did is i recorded the whole process and what i'm going to do in the next week or so is put it out as like a little course and in that course i'm just going to teach people how for free you can create a passive income uh, a website which basically connects a bunch of websites to mean that you can send products out from suppliers how you can use ai to do a lot of the grunt work and the heavy lifting with product descriptions and stuff like that it's a short course but it will just teach people how to create something which will run itself as like a passive income business while you carry on with your day job us hustlers call this multi-purposing content it's when you have an idea to do do something but then you think hang on a minute what else could I do with that idea how could I multi-purpose something else out of that thing so a I could teach Grayson all the fundamentals of entrepreneurialism but b I could create a course out of it and c I could add it as content in this week's video so there's three pieces of uh, material out of just the one idea multi-purposing content hustlers 101 actually technically it's four things because I create a business as well so yeah four things sorry back to the Anyway, Grayson's website's all up and running now, kids.co.uk. Christmas is coming up. If you need to buy some kids' toys and stuff like that, then go and check it out. He's really happy with it. He's really proud of it. And I'm really proud of him for being so involved in it. He's uh, really, uh, he's comes back home from school. He's like, Dad, can we work on the website again? So he's really passionate about it, which is great. And it's been so good to teach him like how it all works. So I'm going to release a little course which teaches you everything, how to do it. We're going to go through it together. Stay tuned for that and uh, check out the website, kids.co.uk. I am just doing a quick little nip around the park with the dogs just to get a break from work. Thought I would bring you with me, mainly because Steph is trying to get me on board with this new camera. And as he may have already told you, I very much dislike learning how to use new bits of technology. <laughs> so I'm definitely feeling um, lots of uh, resistance. I was like, Hannah, take out the new Osmo camera, take it out, do a dog walk around the park, and uh, see how you get on. She came back, she threw it down and left, she was like, I hate it. And then I looked at the footage and she had it in hyperlapse mode. It's gonna be tricky getting her on board with this. Anyway, in other news, we got a letter yesterday saying that after seven years of living in Bath, we have finally got to the top of the allotment waiting list. <laughs> Such middle-aged people chat, but we're both very excited about it. The only thing is, neither of us know anything about gardening or growing veg or anything about that really so it's going to be a big learning curve for us i put out um a question on instagram yesterday like basically saying what do we do where do we start and some of you very kindly gave me some tips so i think we'll take a day one weekend where we basically just sort out the soil for winter this is what i've been told to do pa apparently um chicken poo pellets are really good for the soil and then apparently to cover it up over the winter so that we can have some good soil to grow some things in the spring. I've just been sent this box because that coffee machine there needs to go in that box and it needs to get sent off to get repaired because that is broken. Every time we turn it on to make a coffee, it will short our electrics. This is our washer dryer. That is broken. We've got another one arriving today. But worst of all, this is our boiler. This apparently is broken beyond repair, two grand. I lied, it's not two grand, it's four grand. Just had the official quote come through. Four thousand pounds to replace the whole boiler, over four grand, it's about 4,300. Our house insurance doesn't cover it apparently because we have contents only insurance and this doesn't cover boiler breakdowns. The thing is we probably would have had four grand sitting around but we just had a, a government shut down the economy for three years because somebody sneezed. Be careful what you say. You know, in the first year alone, it took down over 400,000 small businesses. I don't know what to do. We might just have to live without hot water. Hannah says she's not going to do an OnlyFans. She's point blank refu refusing. That said, I could do an OnlyFans. I, could, I can be sexy. I know how to be sexy. Shut up, I could. Grow up. I've been in multiple arguments the past uh, week with people who are getting really angry at Hannah and I for not speaking out about what's going on and uh, I, I guess well I guess I should talk about that. What baffles me here is why anyone would go to Hannah for geopolitical insights. Go to Hannah for freaking Zara 
holders or dog memes, not for hot takes on international diplomacy. Most of us creators don't want to talk about this stuff because of two fundamental reasons. A, we're just too ill-educated to understand the nuances of this stuff. It's, it's far beyond a quick Instagram story or a hashtag. And B, we'd far rather create a distraction from it. Our whole perception is, is a narrow, subjective window into the vast complexities of the universe, constantly shaped and reshaped by our senses, experiences and inherent biases. We perceive reality not as it is, but as we are. Religion, socioeconomic, social conditioning all reinforce this collective agreement of preservation. Once we peel back everything to that fundamental level and expose the roots of human nature, I think only then can we decode ourselves and learn how to stop being so divided and pissed off at each other. I don't think people genuinely want her opinion. I just think they want to, her to reinforce their current beliefs to make sure that she's in the same tribe as them. This is what frustrates me about this culture of performative activism and hashtags and current thingism and just general tribalism. Condemning the slaughter of innocence doesn't need, shouldn't need to be something that you'd have to say. Surely that's blatantly obvious at best and virtue signaling masquerading as compassion at worst. Of course we feel compassion for Palestinians. Of course we feel compassion for Israelis. Of course we feel compassion for everybody else affected by the other 45 current armed conflicts taking place around the world. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. The world is rife with unimaginable suffering and a media spotlight on one issue doesn't diminish or lessen the gravity of others happening in the shadows. I guess what I'm trying to say is going to somebody who doesn't believe in objective truths, going to somebody who just sees reality as moving atoms with our very, very extremely narrow view of reality projected over the top of the fact it's just all moving atoms and we are just atomic structures navigating through this odd reality, uh, it's probably not the best person to go to because I won't say the things that you want me to say or, uh, and you're not going to hear things from me that you want to hear because the way I see this human experience doesn't conform to um, certain rigid rules and ideologies. Anyway, yeah, I hope that makes sense in a weird abstract kind of way. Anyway, right, cool. Thanks for listening to me talk about that. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you have a lovely week.